um, study full time at UWA and I've got a job and I volunteer a lot and um, all those things like I kept doing them since I moved into community like the only thing has changed is that when you come home you've got a really great place to hang out with mates and you know spend quality time together and have a chat or anything you need is heaps of support. One of the great things about community is uh, the fact that we all get together and play a bit of sport. Uh, we've done a bit of volleyball. We have a bit of a surfing group where we go out every Saturday morning. We uh, also have a, had a indoor soccer team. Some of the blokes play a bit of rugby. They've done real well this year, won the grand final. We all like to keep up our social lives as well and on a Friday or Saturday night we might go out and hit the town or whatever and community is really great for that because we have plenty of room to have everyone over for pre-drinks, we have all of our friends and our mates over and then afterwards there's always a spare mattress or a spare room to crash so it's really great. we have made some really great friends like with everybody in the community, you move in with like a bunch of people you barely even know and you move out with 12 new friends. Well, community basically it provides opportunities through the Edmund Ice Network, such as um, the Edmund Ice Camp for Kids, Shopfront, Red Cross Super Patrol, um, the Centre in Mirabuka, the Edmund Ice Centre of Social Justice, and the list just goes on. So there's so many different things that you can do within community, and community really provides the environment because you're going out there with the rest of the community and um, sharing that together. When you live in community, if you feel like you want to do service, if you feel called to engage in volunteer work, um, if you're called to like make a difference in the world, living in community is a great place to be. such a welcoming place. Oh, it's always so welcome to have my family and my friends over. In fact, my girlfriend often comes over and watches the movie and she's free to stay the night. And the brothers and, and the community, they don't make it a burden. They don't make me feel guilty of having friends and family over. They actually enjoy the company and they welcome everyone into their home. So this is one of the best things about the community in my opinion. We just walk in the door and um, sometimes there'll be three or four of my mates just sitting around preparing for a night out on the town, just enjoying ourselves or some of the guys will have their friends over and they'll be down at the oval kicking a footy together. When you come home you've got a really great place to hang out with mates and you know spend quality time together and have a chat or anything you need, there's heaps of support, heaps of friends around all the time. Um, you know we, we share all the cleaning and the cooking together, it's a really important part about being in community. Well, I'm living in a shoebox on the corner of an endless road And this city is as lonely as traffic I'm trying to get a hold Reflection is essential because we live such busy lives it's always good to just stop and reflect and that can either be done on an individual basis or with the community and that's generally either thinking about our own lives, uh, the community or reflecting on the service that we've done. Reflection really gives us a chance to sort of get past the superficial and share something a bit deeper with one another. You're constantly learning as you share your reflections and experience other people's reflections as well.